humans! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you are new here, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you never miss one of my uploads. I make new videos on my channel every single Friday. Well, almost every single Friday. I would say 9.5 out of 10 Fridays. But ring the bell so that you know when I upload a new video and then it's good right? In today's video, I am going to be showing you my massive mermaid top collection. I will try them all on for you, and then I'm going to rate them all out of five sea stars based on aesthetics, comfortability, functionality, and how easy they are to put on and take off by yourself. So first, I will go ahead and show you all of my tops. They are literally covering my entire bed right now. So here we have all of my mermaid tops. There are eight here that I'm gonna show you. We've got shells, we've got starfish, we've got leaves and flowers and scales and jewels. So I'm gonna start in no particular order, trying them on, reviewing them, and just chatting with you about them. So here we go. Okay, so I decided to start off with possibly my least favorite top. Top. This one is a mythic scale top by Finfolk Productions. As you can see, it is way too big for me, which is annoying because I ordered a size C and I typically wear a 32 C or D um, for my bra size. So I thought that a C would be like um, good. I never wear this top. I don't think there are any photos of me or videos of me in this top. Um, yeah, which is too bad. I think I spent about 50 US dollars on this and it's literally just a waste of space. Aesthetically, it is quite nice looking. You know, it's the mythic iridescent scales, which are pretty. It's kind of comfortable, but you can feel like the scales kind of all up in your grill a little bit, which are a little bit pointy. There is actually some fishing wire sticking out right here. I know a lot of people have this top in different colors and it works for some people if it actually fits you. But yes, so it does not fit true to size. So order like three sizes smaller than you actually want if you're gonna purchase one of these tops. I'm gonna give this like two C stars out of five because um, it is pretty. It does look great on some people. It gets a pretty good design, it's just way too big for me and the sizes were not advertised correctly which is annoying since i started out with a finfolk top i thought i would show you my other finfolk top so we'll go company by company so this is my finfolk productions tafiti top i actually made a full video unboxing and kind of reviewing this top if you want to check that out i will put it in the card above and in the description below so you can watch that after you watch this video now this is a very pretty top obviously and it's a very creative original design which i absolutely love it is difficult to put on by yourself but not impossible it's actually pretty comfortable now this top was advertised as one size fits all not even one size fits most which would have been more accurate so it is a little bit big for me which is unfortunate because they advertised it fitting like a 32 B I believe as the smallest size and like I said before I wear a 32 C or a D so I was like oh perfect this top will be like awesome on me but it is too big around there is too much of this palm tree silicone they should have shortened that and had more tie because the fact that it's a crisscross tie design is what allows it to fit multiple sizes and they just made the silicone a little too long to be able to fit people who are a 32 or smaller around band it's never gonna be nice and snug like you want a top to be especially if you're gonna be swimming in it so i would give this top 3.5 sea stars out of five it is gorgeous it is creative um, if it fits you well, then it would be amazing. Go watch the video where I talk all about it to get the details. Okay, next we have on my oldest mermaid top that I still own. This one was made by magictail.de and I believe I purchased this one in 2015 with my magic tail fabric tail. I find it super funny because this top is a size extra large. Um, Clearly, I'm not extra large, so if your boobs are bigger than mine, um, this top is probably not gonna work for you because it kind of just fits me. This top is anywhere between four and six years old, and it has lasted pretty well. It's still in really good condition, definitely still wearable, and I do wear it if I'm looking for a nice, comfortable, easy top to throw on just for swimming in the pool. And it's easy to put on by yourself and take it off, very functional. So yeah, I would give this top, like, for what it is, for the price, 
and everything, I would give this top like four C stars out of five. And it has held up very well over the years. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right, now I'm going to be talking about my tops from my favorite top maker, Siren Allure. This was the first like professional mermaid top that I ever got. It was custom designed by me to match my pink mythic tail and mermaid highly did a very good job this top is a size 32 d and it fits me pretty well it might be a little bit on the big side the colors match my tail super well i still love to wear this top i think it's like almost three years old now and it's still in really good condition the one complaint i did have was that these little straps it can come off so that the top can be strapless which is really cool but the straps um, were a little bit weak and this would come undone while I was swimming quite a few times. So I just took a little bit of thread and sewed the strap to the bra. So that did the trick for me and this strap thingy no longer comes off while I'm swimming, which is fantastic because that was a little bit annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and give this top four C stars out of five. Um, it loses the points a little bit just for those straps not being super great in the first place. I mean, it's pretty much perfect. The paint is amazing and it still looks brand new, like almost three years later. It's comfortable, it's easy to put on and take off by yourself. You can swim in it, it's fully functional. Um, it's easy to clean and dry. So yes, I love this top a lot. It is definitely one of my favorites. And yeah, now let's move on to my other Siren Alert top. Here is my other top from Siren Allure. This one is a scale top and it has this halter strap that is actually adjustable. You can unclip it and everything like that. This one is a size 32C because the starfish top was a little on the big size. So I thought I would size down. Clearly this one is like a little bit on the small size, but I mean, I'm okay with it. It definitely looks good, so whatever i love this top i think it's my favorite top i have worn it the most for sure it's got how, how do you say it schwartzky crystals and also this little moon pendant here this top was um designed by mermaid highly with creative freedom to match my mer taylor sailor moon silicone tail and I think she did an amazing job. Time is like a big blur in my brain but I've had it for a while and I definitely wear this top the most because it fits me really well and I'm never worrying about flashing anybody or it falling off. It is super comfortable. I can put it on by myself. Um, it looks beautiful. The only thing I would say is the paint has faded a little bit because I've worn it so much. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but you can see a couple spots where this paint is like fully rubbing off and that's just from wearing it I have not like banged it against the bottom of the pool or anything because like ow that would hurt the other thing that I don't fully love about this top is that at the back you can see a little bit of the bra clip right here like the scales don't fully come and meet in the middle Whereas with the seaweed starfish top, it fully covers that up. So I'm not sure why it isn't like that with this top, but that's just a minor detail. No kid has ever pointed it out or anything like that. I think I have to give this top five sea stars out of five. I cannot recommend Siren Allure enough. I will definitely be buying more silicone tops from her in the future because they are amazing and beautiful and she's lovely to work with. So thanks Mermaid Highly if you're watching this. I will put all of the links to all of these like companies and tops in the description below by the way if you want to buy any of these so yeah now let's move on to something else okay next we have Ariel shell top from unknown maker my boss slash friend gave this top to me because it didn't fit her anymore so she gave it to me to do Ariel parties in the tag only says sport on it and it also says extra extra large but I think it is really awesome for an Ariel cosplay for being Ariel at birthday parties it fits me well it's comfortable it's easy to put on and take off I'd give this top four C stars out of five it's pretty good quality it's a pretty color looks great you know, like all the good things I said, I will try my best to figure out where it is from so that you can buy it if you would like to. And yeah, so that's all for this top and now let's move on. Okay, this next top I actually made myself out of a regular bra from Licenza, which is kind of like a cheaper Canadian version of Victoria's Secret. It is a size 32D. See how bras are really inconsistent on me? I don't know. It's really difficult. 
but I just got all of these jewels from a craft store and used E6000 glue to glue them on here and the colors were to match my pink mythic top. So I got this top before I ordered the starfish top and I wanted to see if I could make a good top on my own and I think it turned out pretty well. I was always planning on adding some like fishnet to it but I just never got around to it and then my starfish top showed up which I just wore every single time. I was also thinking about maybe making a tutorial one day of how exactly I made this top so that you can make one as well. It was really cheap and fun and satisfying and pretty easy. So yeah, and also I think it would be a great rave bra. I don't go to raves, um, I'm just guessing. But yeah, it's really pretty, it's cute. I don't know, I mean I made it myself so I'll give it like three sea stars out of five because it's a good top. It's not the most mermaidy. These are kind of supposed to be like scales but like obviously they're not scales so. I don't know. I still like this top though, and I thought it was worth showing you because it is part of my collection. And now on to the last top. I just watched the footage back of me trying on this top, and like I could not see all of that white stuff like in my hands or in the mirror, but with this light, it really showed up. And I'm pretty sure that that is sunscreen because I wore this top in the summertime and was trying to put some sunscreen on, and it definitely got on the fabric. I don't know if it will show up right now, maybe a little bit but like while, I, while I'm holding this I can't see that at all so um yeah that's why I didn't bring it up while I was talking about the top I just wanted to let you know because it looks super gross um in the footage but in real life it doesn't but um yeah that is definitely making me think I probably will take these off to make it like a bra top but anyways I just wanted to say that real quick because I was like oh that doesn't look right <laughs> okay that's it bye See what I mean? This just doesn't look right. And also the back looks super weird on camera, but it does not look all dotty like that in real life. It's just like the light makes this top like an optical illusion and it's really weird, okay? But in real life it looks normal, I promise. The lucky last top for today is one that some of you probably recognize. It is my mesh shell illusion top from Sirenalia which I already made an unboxing and kind of review video for on my channel as well. That link will be in the description below for you if you want to check it out. So this is a very good top for aerial um, cosplaying, swimming. It isn't my favorite top that I own. I think the color doesn't perfectly match and a lot of the times there's a lot of wrinkles that you can see. Usually I can edit them out of pictures okay, but for swimming you can't really edit that out. Yeah, it's definitely not as comfortable and as functional as some of the other tops that I own. I love the style of the shells. This design is very original by Sirenalia. I've never seen any other mermaid top company make a mesh illusion top so it looks like it's just the shells or the starfish stuck on your boobs like a real mermaid would probably have. So it definitely gets points for originality. Um, yeah, I think I would give this maybe 3.5 sea stars out of 5 just because it's not my favorite. But like I said, it is really, really cool and eye-catching for an aerial cosplay, photos, swim. It's really good and awesome for all of that. It's something cool and original that not a lot of mermaids out there have. And I would recommend this top if you like the style of it and if you're looking for a mesh illusion top because it's really cool. And that is all of my mermaid tops up to date. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. Please let me know in the comments down below which of my tops was your favorite. And like I said, I will have all of the links in the description below so that you can buy these tops and also check out the previous reviews, unboxings I have made of some of these mermaid tops. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. I make new videos almost every single Friday. And also follow me on Instagram at mermaid zelda and at emma.forth i post there almost every single day i love you all so much thanks again for watching this video and i will see you next week bye i just wanted to quickly show you all proof that this is in fact a size c because i just saw it on the top right there baby it's a c this is a c a c it's bigger than my face literally it's not a c